Hey, what's up? David here with Dino Video Effects, and welcome back to another video. And as promised, I will be teaching you people how to do matte shadows and reflections. So yeah, let's get into it. So um, as we can see here in this example, um, this is a like a rooftop air condition conductor, or whatever. And I've got some images of like my university. Macquarie University, 12 Wally's Walk. Was it 12? I don't know. I can't remember. Anyway, I just took it and... Yeah. Okay, that's enough from university. By the way, university is finished for me, so I am very happy now. I've got like four months of holidays. and So that's totally awesome, I would say. Okay, so... Uh, I'm going to choose image 1028 and I'm going to drop it into a new comp. Yep, and then let's do some color correction. So Control Alt Y for adjustment and we'll call this one uh, CC. Color correction and we go to go to color correction tint, color correction curves. And maybe drop this down to maybe like 20%. Add a little contrast to this. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Go to red channel, drop that down a bit. Uh, go to blue channel and just give a little blue. Not too much though. Just want to make it subtle. Uh, yeah, that looks alright. I mean like, yeah, it looks alright. And maybe just play with the curves adjustment. Okay. And hit Control Alt Y again. Call this vignette. If you don't know how to do these uh, vignettes and color correction, I suggest you look at my color correction and vignette bit tutorial. I'll leave a description down below. I'll leave a link for the, in the description below. Yes, that's right. All right, so we're gonna go to the lips mask tool, double click it, and set this to subtract, and then just bring this curves down. And hit F, and feather it out quite a lot. Uh, and just have a little play with it. So yeah, that looks all right. Uh, just maybe not too dark, just wanna make it subtle. Okay, so once we've done that, now we can hit Control Y and we'll call this E3D and we'll make it red for creativity wise. And we're gonna add Video Copilot Elements. And we'll go to Scene Setup. Okay, so here we are in Element 3D. So I'm just gonna pick uh, the same uh, model that I use. So if we go down to rooftop kit, by the way, this is free on videocopilot.net. So I'll leave a link in the description for where you can get this pack. Um, yep, so here is the rooftop air conductor or whatever it is. I'm just gonna scale it up maybe to 300, make it a little larger. And I'm just going to change the environment to maybe a bit of yellow because more like a yellow bluish color because that's what our color correction did. So I'm just going to pick one. What about this one? Oh, that's a little. What about that one? I like this one. So I'm just going to choose this one, maybe play with the brightness and saturation. Uh, yeah, that looks all right. And yep, that's it. So next thing we're gonna do is create a plane. And we're gonna make it pretty white, big. So five by five. Okay. Okay, maybe that's a little too big. Maybe four by four. And scroll down here to the materials, to the plane itself, sorry. And we're going to go to reflectivity to mirror surface. And if 
we go down to the material options turn on matte shadow okay and that's it and we hit okay and there's our model it's very tiny so that's okay we're going to make a new camera so control alt shift c and hit 50 millimeters okay and we can just zoom in here and just try to make it align with the make it you know parallel or something uh, okay so let's get some new light so make a parallel maybe give it a little bit of yellow and hit T set the intensity up and maybe since the lights coming here majority of it I want to make it coming from this area so So somewhere about there, and maybe duplicate it again, and then maybe bring it on this side, just to make it get more lighting, and then we can just bring the intensity down a bit, uh, maybe about one, no, maybe about 200, okay. And yep, I think that's pretty good. Next thing we're gonna do is go to group one because it's on group one. And let's particle look, maybe just scale it up just a bit, maybe 12. Yep, and create a group null. Now this is basically a null object that controls the position of this uh, rooftop model. So we just call this position. Okay. And then we go to, back into element. Go down to the render settings. Ambient occlusion. I'm just going to set this to quarter res. And go to preview enable AO and we can see it's starting to get some shadows so if you can't see the difference that's the difference but we're going to do it better we're going to set this to ray trace okay now we just need to adjust so that it kind of looks realistic okay so that look is looking pretty good um so that's match shadow so if we go inside to the rent output and set this to ambient occlusion you can see here what's you can see what's happening here a lot of shadows going on and that's the main uh, purpose for ambient occlusion so yeah that's ambient occlusion for match shadows um yeah you can change the position of this and etc etc maybe you can add some so hit aa and maybe you can add some depth of field and play with the depth of field here let's see so you got some depth of field around this area and little bit on this um, curved but it does use a lot of rendering power so I'm just gonna turn it off because I just want to let you guys know about that okay so that's matte shadow so now for matte reflection so I'm actually just gonna make a new comp so this is 1920 by 1080 make white solid as the background I call this BG and create a new solid and we're gonna go to element again and go to scene setup okay so we're back here and let's get the doctor who model out 
So here is my TARDIS model. And we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to create a plane. And we'll make it 3 by 3 this time. And just go down here in the material settings. Set this to matte reflection. And reflectivity mirror surface. Okay. And that's it. Okay, so I'm going to hit Control Alt Shift C. And set this to 50 millimeters. Set OK. And let's play around with this. So maybe just get this going. And you can already see the reflection of the TARDIS. Yeah, so you can see the retardus reflection already, and we're just going to change the running settings again to uh, ray trace. And once that's done, it should look something like this. Um, oh, and by the way, if you don't have this model, I left a link in my TARDIS model video for you can download everything the textures the obj file the max file everything so yeah you can just straight away import that into elma 3d if you have that plugin yeah so that's pretty much it for matte reflection um it's just a reflection so yeah so yeah, thank you everyone, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, my name's David Lee, I hope you learned interesting techniques that you can use for your own creations, and as always, please give a like, subscribe, comment down below if you have any questions, and until next time, I will see you in the next video.